The FDEC ground speed indicator shows you your GPS ground speed in either knots, kilometers an hour, or miles per hour. It has a digital representation at the top of the instrument, and this can be changed if you don't want it to be displayed. You can change the speed units from knots to kilometers an hour or miles per hour as appropriate, and that will be reflected on the instrument's displays. As so. You can set the maximum speed of your airspeed indicator. So currently it's set to 200 knots. I can change that now. Let's move it down to, I don't know, let's choose uh, 160 knots, shall we? Got 160 knots now set on the airspeed indicator and all the instruments, all the airspeed settings uh, between 160 and the start are changed accordingly. You can also change the ground speed arcs to be displayed on or off. Um, so if you want to turn them off, you just get the plain ground speed indicator. Um, the arcs themselves are obviously uh, for more of a visual effect because they are based on ground speed rather than airspeed. Um, but you can change them. So you can change the lower end of the ground speed arc. So let's set that to uh, 50 knots. Uh, and let's set the upper end of the green arc to, let's bring that down to 100 knots. Turn back on again. So we've got 50 knots to 100 knots. Um, let me to change the max speed back to 200 um, so that we get more even displays of the arcs. There we go, so 50 to 100 knots. The yellow arc, and the, uh, you only set the max speed. Um, so currently the yellow arc max speed is set to 150 knots. So again, if we change that to uh, 160, you can see that's been moved and the red arc fe effectively fills the gap between the end of the yellow arc and your maximum speed. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's the ground speed instrument. Hope you enjoyed it.